wanted all three of my ancillary tasks to give off the same atmosphere and aura as each other. I wanted you, the viewer, to feel like you've been thrown into a heightened, mysterious Victorian world. I therefore decided that each task should encompass the same features, for example fonts, images and music. I chose to keep the main title font the same throughout the three tasks. This would help to make them relate to each other and work together as a package. I also tried to have a colour scheme throughout the three tasks. When you view the website, the colours in the home page are meant to reflect those within the trailer. The background of the wife's image is turquoise blue to relate to the colours in the flashback scene in the trailer when she is kidnapped. The main detective is red because he is often seen in the trailer next to a red background or red scenery. The colour red is usually seen as representing heroism, strength and compassion. The other colour is beige. This was used for the main title scroll and billing block. In the trailer there are colours of beige in the killer's calling card. There are also beige colours in the wife's dress and opening sequence. Perhaps this is symbolic because the wife is secretly on the killer's side. The final colour which I use a lot is grey. The background to the graphics within the trailer, the poster background and website background are all grey, like the stone of a tombstone or the colour of a skull. This background depicts a large crack down the middle, which is meant to symbolise the two main characters' separation. Like a lot of films, the poster and website are very similar looking. I used elements from my poster to build up the website. They therefore complement each other very well and carry the continuity of the production. However, they are different enough to remain interesting. To make the website individual to the other tasks, I added the short intro clip. This makes the website more enticing and gives viewers a reason to visit it. I also made sure the music was the same throughout each task. The music used in the website is the same as the piece used in the trailer, just a different part of the track to avoid repetition. There are also symbolic themes throughout the three tasks. In the graveyard scene of the trailer you hear crows croaking in the background. This is reflected in the poster where two crows are perched on a border. In the website a soundbite of a crow is used. There are also skulls throughout the trailer, the killer's calling card, the website intro, the poster and the title itself. I've tried to keep the two main characters as the central focus for all the three tasks. The film is very much about their relationship and I wanted all the products to show this. All three of my products demonstrate the detective's longing for his wife. In the poster he is looking in her direction, in the trailer he is searching for her. I tried to demonstrate this relationship throughout each task. A website offers more than a trailer. Firstly, it appeals to an audience who are already actively interested in the film. This means it has to be attractive, exciting and engaging. It is a way of targeting the key audience and offering them more. If visitors are impressed enough by the website, they are more likely to tell their friends about the film and raise awareness through word of mouth. The website allows users to actively interact with the film they can like the Facebook page or post it on their profiles. This increases viral marketing, i.e. free advertising on an international level. Overall, I think I have successfully combined my three products. They all give off the right Victorian theme and I think demonstrate the genre of the film effectively. They complement each other well with similar themes and recurring images. I think they are effective in being individual enough to one another to appeal to different audiences and purposes, but still remain, however, as part of the same aesthetic.